Okay, today we have a MacBook Pro. This is a fifteen oh two model. It's a thirteen inch laptop, and the customer said that it doesn't connect to the internet. We notice he purchased this little adapter here. This is a USB Wi-Fi card, and this is also not detected by the machine, which is strange according to the customer. Uh, but we want to obviously fix this so he doesn't need this. Um, we did boot it up real quick, and it says that there's no hardware installed, so there's likely an issue with the wireless card. So we're going to take it apart, take a look inside, see what, what the damage looks like. There's no water damage according to him, so we shouldn't expect any corrosion or anything like that. We have to use our Pentalo P5 screwdriver for these bottom screws, also for my fix it. And I believe on these models, the two top screws here and here are shorter than the rest, so. It's always good to keep in mind when you're taking this apart. Because when you put it back together, if you put a long screw in here, the bottom of the laptop will scrape against the surface of whatever you set it on. It'll be raised up a little bit. The feet aren't in far enough for that to not scrape. So. Okay, I'll take the bottom off. It's pretty gross as usual. some sort of bug in there. That's always fun. Um, so here's the wireless card. Now the wireless card is connected to this board here, which isn't connected to the motherboard. So we should probably check whether these USB ports work. We want to isolate the problem to either being this board or the Wi-Fi card itself. So we should probably boot the machine back up and check to see if either of these USB ports for the SD card reader work. I believe the customer had it plugged in on this side, so if it didn't work it would make sense that this whole board there's something going on there. Let's flip it over and boot it up real quick. Ugh, there's stuff falling out of the laptop. That's nasty. Okay, turn it on real quick and then take a look. You can see this is one of the models that have the steam gate issue where the uh, coating that they use on the screen actually starts to wear off from heat and stuff like that. The coating, you can see in some areas, is worn off. That's not even, uh, those aren't smudges, that's just pieces of the screen that's been uh, worn off. So let me go ahead and get the password here. to the top, the Wi-Fi symbol has a little X through it, and if you click on it, it says no, har no hardware installed. I'm going to go into System Preferences, Network, again this is all blank except for Wi-Fi, and it says it's off, if you try to turn it on, it just doesn't do anything. So let's test those USBs on that side. We have our testing USBs here. I like this one because it's got a little slider, so it can be USB A or USB C. So that's pretty cool for the newer Macs. Our Wi-Fi card's on this side, so let's plug something into the USB on this side, and we'll see if it detects it. Okay, detected it right away. So that would lead me to believe that this is either a wireless card issue or a software issue. I believe we have these wireless cards, so 
we'll try that first. And then if not, then we'll have to reload the machine on another solid state drive to see if the same problem is happening and then that will determine whether it's software related issue. This way. Let me find a wireless card. Okay, so I happen to find this, which is I think exactly what we need. I labeled it A1502 early 2015 I.O. board. I don't know what year this model is, but this looks to be it. So I'm going to avoid replacing the whole I.O. board first because I genuinely don't believe it's that. Screw. So we'll start with the wireless card. On these, the little screw, it's got a T4 torque screw, and this lifts up. These wireless cards, I believe, have like a thermal pad underneath, so it can be a little bit difficult to pull them. You have to pull them upright, which will kind of give you some leverage on this connector here, and then you can wiggle it, and it will pull right out. That's the thermal pad. Time, but see it's left like a, a stain from the heat swelling and stuff. Okay, we'll disconnect the Wi-Fi wires, the antenna wires. Use that as a screwdriver, kind of push them upright. Push those upright. Same thing here, T4 torque screw. Lift it up. This wireless card is quite dirty. Pretty nasty looking. Uh, kind of sad. Okay. So we're going to swap that out with the one that we have from the, from the replacement IO board. Uh, test it. See if the hardware gets detected. Then put it back up and test it. And we'll 
check if that's fixed our issue. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever seen a wireless card go bad on one of these models, but I guess I wouldn't be surprised if it was. Apologize for the phone. Okay, we're back in. And it does appear that that icon with the X through it is gone. And it looks like all our Wi Fi connections are back. So we'll do ours quickly. Make sure it gets an IP address. Connected. Speed test. Okay, so it's looking good. Yeah, so, um, so it looks yeah, like uh, this model ended up being a wireless card. This is an A1502 MacBook Pro, 13 inch model. And uh, now we can build a customer and he's all set.